Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. We are excited that you decided to join us once again for this week's Explore Tulsa. Now, Trish, did you make it out to Mayfest this year? Oh, I did, and there was such a great crowd and so much beautiful art. Well, for me, I love talking to the artists too and learning more about what inspired them to begin with. Oh, did you meet Daryl Vest? Mm -hmm. His work has a comic book style that I'm sure is right up your alley. Most people are associating the buildings. They love Tulsa, and so when they see it, uh, I, I like the reaction I get from people who work in the building, eat in that building, or another one, or, or people who, who can associate uh, their daily lives with it. That's it. I did my drafting thing and I did my uh, engineering design phase, but I was always sketching, always drawing, always dreaming up something. And uh, that's what I kind of evolved into was more of that uh, just doing it full time instead of you know, doing my mechanical stuff and then on the spare time doing the art, I just moved the art into all of it. I start from the whole process of from the idea to building the canvas, to stretching the canvas, to treating it, to the image, then I go from the image that I want, then I sketch it all out, and then I invent the whole thing in my head and choreograph all this stuff before I even start. And then so when I'm putting it down, it's just documenting it, what's already in my head. I, I get the image that I want in my head, I go downtown, find the spot, and then I get my little iPhone and my pad of paper, and I take a few images and then I draw it out on paper and then I connect the dots that way and kind of blend them and mold them together into my own image. So I take something that's existing and I personalize it to myself by using the, the colors that I want and the view that I want, you know, and then and the characters that I invent and put in there. I love color and, and drama. The skies on all of these are dark. They're not really very plain because I like that sense of drama and mystery to them. So that adds to the colors. I use a lot of earth tone colors. And the, the colors that I, I love the most are anything that goes with mystery. Blues, reds, you know, and things that kind of add that passion element in there and, and a little bit of mystery. That's what I love. I love um, one and two point perspective. When you start adding all the art deco elements to a building, you give it that personality. That's to me what makes it more fun. So when I say more fun, I mean uh, I get more enjoyment out of it when I know that that building has a significance to everybody in town. Like if I show one and everybody walks by and they see it and they, and they can associate with it, that's, that's the most fun. And that's the perspective part and the color. When you add color, perspective, and the view and tilt it a little bit, kind of makes it when you're looking at the part or looking at the picture and it's off skew, it makes you feel like you're in the picture and you're not, it's not all standardized. It's all like random. I choreograph all my stuff to have a story that's not said. It's kind of like, like the girl in the, well I have one that I've done where the girl is sitting at a table and she's just sitting by herself and she has blonde hair and a white dress. So the mystery is what is she thinking about? So I have her sitting at a table and it started out as a, 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 a scene of the town, but I kind of moved into a unsaid kind of story thing where she's just sitting there and thinking. And another one I've done, somebody, I might have someone walking with their head down, kind of gives you that sense of the untold kind of thing. You know, I love that. Or I might have one character in one of my paintings that looks toward you. Everyone else is looking away, but that one character will look right at you. And I've got that one in several that I've done. What I really enjoy the most is when someone can connect with the painting. And they can walk up to it and look at it and they can say, well that, that looks like so-and-so or so-and-so. And that to me makes the whole thing. 